It's incredible just how much time one can spend learning about addition alone. I could talk about the history of addition, like how the plus sign is an abbreviation of the Latin word for and, et, spelled et, or how the word sum comes from the Latin word summa, which means the top, and that it was common in ancient Greece and Rome, apparently, to do your addition from the bottom up so that the sum would be at the top. And guess who popularized the word adding? Geoffrey Chaucer, also known as the father of English literature. And the sun is in my eyes. Oh, there we go. I also learned that there's an entire branch of mathematics called additive number theory, and one of its unsolved problems is also one of the most famous and oldest unsolved problems in all of mathematics. Gold box conjecture which states that every even number greater than two can be expressed as the sum of two prime numbers. Nobody's proven it yet. They've gotten pretty far up to, I think it was four times 10 to the power of 18, but still not proven. That's really cool stuff. I don't understand it. Anything about like the nature of proof in general, what is a mathematical proof? How do you prove something like that true for all numbers? I don't understand how that's possible but it's something I'm gonna read more about this month. Although, for now, let's stick with addition. I'm trying to stay focused. You can see I'm not doing a very good job so far. Although, today I did an exhaustive search of every addition algorithm that I could find, and I learned a couple of new ones. Actually, I really liked a couple of them, and I think I'm gonna start using them in my everyday life. Here are the main three. In the standard algorithm, you start on the right, seven plus five is 12. You write the two in the ones place column and carry the 10, writing a one above the tens place column. In long addition, sometimes called the partial sums algorithm, you just write 12. And in the lattice method, you write 12, but in a little box with a diagonal line through it. Then you do the next column. In the standard algorithm, you add one plus seven plus four to get 12. In long addition, you add 70 plus 40 to get 120. 10 and then add 12 to that. In lattice addition, you add 7 plus 4, write the 11 in the box, and then add along the diagonals to get 122. It looks fancy, but it's really just a different way of writing 110 plus 12. You can also do any of these from left to right. It works just as well. Personally, I prefer the long addition method left to right compared to right to left. And they all work for adding more than two numbers at a time, though it can get a bit tedious, and that brings me to my favorite new algorithm that I learned today, scratch addition. It's made specifically for adding many columns of numbers. Here, seven plus five is 12. Instead of carrying the 10, you make a scratch and write the two. Then two plus eight is 10, so make another scratch and write a zero. Then zero plus one is one. Next, you count your scratches, in this case two, and write that number to the next column and repeat the process, starting by adding two plus seven. Each scratch stands for a digit that needs to be carried. It's nice and quick, and I can't wait to start using it the next time I need to add up lots of numbers. In the end, these algorithms are all just different tricks for how to remember the carry digits. You can easily invent your own methods, too, and put that carry digit wherever the hell you want. But my favorite technique is called regrouping, and you can do this in conjunction with any of the other algorithms, but this is the only one that really helps with mental arithmetic. So you can round 77 up to 80, that's plus 3, so just subtract 3 from the other number. 80 plus 42 is so much easier to do in your head. It's also a good practical introduction to algebra, because we are balancing an equation here, even if we're not writing it out. Of course, there's no way around learning your addition tables. Thankfully, you only need to memorize a couple of patterns, like plus one, doubling, adding by nine is the same as adding by ten and subtracting one. Still, I can't help but idolize the simplicity of the binary addition table. I think it's actually quite beautiful. It's just so simple. But you gain that benefit of minimal memorization at the expense of additional tedium in the form of many, many more columns. Columns. Every addition algorithm will also work in binary, by the way. You just have more columns and perhaps more opportunities for error. That would be another fun thing to test. Which is faster by hand, decimal addition or binary addition? Hmm, and I wonder, at what point would one overtake the other and become faster? Today I also got lost in a rabbit hole learning all about mechanical adding machines and digital adders, and how to build both digital and analog calculators inside the game Minecraft, and oh boy. Talk about rabbit holes. And here's another question. Why is it easier to do mental addition starting from the left with the larger numbers first, instead of starting with the smaller numbers and then carrying the digits to the left? 
I'm sure there must be some really interesting neuroscience on mental arithmetic and then maybe that's just an excuse because I, I really do want to get back into that tangent on mathematical cognition. In other news, I haven't showered in three days, but hey, who cares? I'm not going anywhere. Nobody can smell me. <laughs> I can't even smell me. Tomorrow I hope to start organizing my questions and all the cool links that you guys are sending me. Wow, I can't even keep up with all the cool book recommendations and YouTube channels and other things I should check out. Thank you so much. The downside, of course, is that for someone like me who's easily distracted by shiny objects, I get a little bit overwhelmed at all the cool stuff out there, um, but I will find a way to organize it and keep track of it little by little. I'm organizing and I already have like 20 different ideas for future video topics just about math and even just about arithmetic and I'm really excited but I know I'm not gonna get to do all of them uh, but but that's okay I'll keep chipping away little by little until I gradually understand uh, everything well that'll never happen but you know I'll get closer than I am now at least see you all tomorrow